Hello my lovely Sagittarius, how are you loves? I hope everyone is well. Welcome to your second week of January. My be a great week, my be not as great. Let's see loves and how the energies are and come to you. You know, loves always are general readings, what I am posting in here and feeling blessed and thankful for each and everyone that's coming in. Let's see, loves, what are those messages we need to hear this week and look into? Sagis. We have for you in a sense and underneath we have the life purpose. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you and we have innocence here beloved one everyone is guiltless in truth as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load Give us any guilt, anger, or blame that may shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. So yes, loves, I feel here for many, many of you, you might feel this week a little emotional or a little overwhelmed or feel like you know, running high with the emotions, what to do, where to go, and so on. What I'm gathering now, Sage, is try to focus on the most important things for you right now. Don't try here and there, try everything to put it together. Might not be the great time, okay? And... Speaking of, we have on the 14th Mercury that's going retrograde. So a little careful or there are certain things here you need to readjust to or redo, rework, realign, please do. Reflect on the things you want to and so on. Whatsoever, Spirit says, whatever you're going through right now, you can overcome and just need to be patient with. Let's love, Sagis. What do we have here for you? Queen of Pentacles underneath earth energy and knight of swords i feel here you put effort into something as we speak but feels that doesn't go as fast as you want to and yes you are a fire sign you want things faster and you quite running out of patience but again, I get a message. Patience is quality. And King of Swords, know your plans, know your goals. So that will put you in a light. As well, I see for many Sages this week, quite a lot of people around us. Put your intentions because next week we'll go to the full moon in Cancerian, which is all about, 
Yes, Kisarian speaks about emotions, it's a water sign, but also is the home, where you feel home. Here you are in Six of Pentacles this week, trying to get balanced or trying to find balance. For some of you, there's a situation here that is not quite what you want to be. So you might put your effort into. We have Queen of Swords. Above you we have the Sun. Below you we have the World. And Three of Swords. You know, some of you, you need just to be into the energy you are right now and get real get practical whatever you are with who you are and whatever environment you are most likely the 3d energy and i feel here there is a disconnection between your soul and your 3d world 5d and the 3d whatsoever i feel here that there is a sage here who who need to be honest with themselves nothing is perfect in this world three of swords the situation might not be the way you want it but believe it or not later on you'll understand that's the life pur purpose and next we have listen and then acceptance. So there is something here you are not good with or you are not comfortable or you are don't agree, let's say that. But having the sun and the world, it's kind of look at the good part and as well whatever here is unstable, uneven, it's at the end. Okay, loves. Let's see here. Six of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Whatever it's here for many of you, it's like learn a new way of doing the things or a new way to approach to the things and work on them and that approach is sprinkled with confidence why I'm saying that six of pentacles and three of pentacles makes the nine of pentacles be more confident in your own abilities and what you truly believe. That makes sense to you, loves? That's Three of Swords, Death. There's a time when we need to accept that certain things are not forever and other things that they are just for a period of time. Learn to let go of certain things. And don't feel that you can't. Eight of Swords, it's very much speaking, your mind needs to be unleashed. Or you need to tell yourself with the Queen of Swords, you need to tell yourself, no, you are not stuck. No, you are not helpless. Actually, you are helped by so many you just don't need to hold back but just to look forward your journey is not where you are finished you have a long way to go forward very much speaks as well here for some sages that 
Each day is a new day. Very much speaks that the sun, it's a day. World, it's an ending, new beginning. Each day, it's a new beginning. Enjoy each and every day that you are having on this earthly life. I've been said this on another reading here that many, many didn't make it today to wake up, but you did. And you watch this video. Be grateful. You got this gift still. Other didn't. Enjoy it. And look at here, loves. We have the sun, death, and the world as major arcanas. There is things that are ending, and there are new ones that are starting as we speak. Could be regards work, could be regards life in general, but as well, Three of Cups, as you see here in this reading, is missing, which Three of Cups is celebration, celebratory energy. Be your own friend. Be more friendly. Be more gentle with others and as well with you. That matters. So for many, many of you, there is a period of your time that the struggle ends now. Keep doing the good. Keep pushing forward because that's coming. Let's see here. What's the world here for? Yeah. You're walking away from a situation, a situation that you've been on the standby, back and forth. But now you can do it because magician is that card which speaks that I can do everything and anything. I have all the tools. You hear that quite a lot. As you see here, the magician has the cups, the wands, the swords, the pentacles everything here on the table and the infinite which infinite is i can do at the infinite times whatever i need to do so yeah for some of you you are manifesting a new life a new energy in a sense it's very much associated with a um, child of a new beginning a rebirth energy indeed here. So somebody here is listening to the universe, purging the things and moving forward. With the Queen of Swords here, could be somebody around you or in your life that tells you certain things, what to do or how to do, or is someone, you know, kicking your ass, basically. Sorry for saying, but it is somebody who's telling you straightforward. You need to do this. For others of you, that person is you. For others of you, that person I can be telling you the things as they are. And for others of you, is somebody who is could be your best friend or somebody who is guiding you. Let's see, loves. What else the universe want to share with you? Or what is that outcome energy? What, what you need to see in a short term after? Oh, I shuffle them in reverse. Ten of Pentacles. Six of Swords, Nine of Cups, Queen of Wands. Look at you. All right. This is where you're hitting, loves. Whatsoever I done them in reverse, I shuffle them in reverse. Yes. They're all 
they are not in reverse I did shuffle them in reverse so you feel right now that it's quite hard to keep moving keep pushing loves because you are going into a very good energy as well going out from your comfort zone you might get where you need to as well we've seen queen of pentacles queen of swords queen of wands queen of cups is missing which queen of cups yes speaks about a motherly energy but at the same time speaks about open up your heart open up yourself and allow the things to flow once you are in that flow stream you will see the things the way exactly they need to be into your life and i feel here there is a sag who really got me whatsoever i see here a sag who is kind of i want in a certain way think about it loves And that being said, loves, Sagittarius, look at here. This is the next card. Open up your heart, heart chakra, to be open for giving and receiving. Absolutely. I'll see you next week with new energies. I hope this is what you're looking for. If you do, don't hesitate to come along and let me know as well don't forget to subscribe like and share this video namaste